In New Jersey, police in Monmouth County are investigating a shooting that left one person dead and another seriously wounded. The gunfire rang out early this morning on River Street in Red Bank. Police now searching for whoever pulled the trigger. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates live in Red Bank with the latest. Tony. And David, yeah, police are still trying to track down uh, that suspect. The witnesses say ran away from the house right after that shooting. Now, we do know that police uh, towed away a black pickup truck, but we don't know yet if that pickup truck belonged to the suspect. Now, this shooting happened in front of this yellow house on River Street. Neighbors say those gunshots woke them up at 3 o'clock in the morning. We also know that the house is divided into several separated rooms that are rented out to individuals. Investigators were out here for hours in the heat. The sidewalk in front of the house covered in yellow evidence markers. Not surprising either because neighbors say they heard a lot of shots. The Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office says one person was killed. A second person was shot in the leg. Now we spoke to one man who says he knows at least one tenant who lives in that house. He'd been worried about him ever since he realized that that is where the shooting happened. Oh, I live down the block. I heard it. I heard boom, 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 boom. Uh, they like ran outside the door. I heard it like cannons. Boom, 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 boom. And that's it. I just saw lights the flashing over there. That's my friend's house over there. Has your friend said anything about what happened? I haven't talked to him yet. Yeah. Has he lived there long? Your friend lived there long? No. He just went in the room over there. He just went in the room? Yeah. Does he know, like, the people who were involved in the show? I don't know. I ain't talked to him yet. Now, officials have not yet released the names of anybody involved, the victims or the suspect, but once again, they are still looking for him. For now, we're live here in Red Bank, Tony Yates, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.